Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by iDub. My name is Tyson. I'm here with Nabil from Revision Hockey. Uh, he's going to be kind of walking us through some of the features on the Revision Vanquish skate. So how about you, you know, kind of give us the rundown on well, it? Well, it's the fastest skate in the market. If you might not be oh, able to... Oh, for real? Oh, oh, jeez. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by iDub. My name is Tyson. I'm here with Nabil from Revision Hockey. Um, we're going to be talking about their uh, the Vanquish skate. Um, so first, kind of, why don't you give us the, the rundown on the boot construction of this guy? How did you kind of come up with the construction here? Well, the uh, first thing we wanted to do is, like, our technology was below the chassis, so what we really wanted to focus on with the boot is making it comfortable, making it easy to break in, but at the same time making it really durable and making sure that, uh, you know, uh, you, you weren't going to break your foot by taking a shot off it or something like that. Definitely. But we really went for comfort first. Um, you know, we weren't so concerned with weight and all those issues. Those were secondary measures to making sure that the player was comfortable because I think if you're comfortable, you're going to perform well. Now, what kind of what kind of fit uh, characteristics did you guys feature on this? Um, and basically, we went for kind of a, 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 um, a cross in between like a D and a, and a double E. You know, we didn't want to go so wide that it would feel sloppy and your foot would move around in it. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want it to be so restrictive and so tight that you had trouble breaking it in and that you really had any, you know, blisters developing and, and soreness on certain parts of your foot. So we kind of went for a, a mid fit. Um, so we kind of generally fit just about any foot that, that we put in it. So. No, do you, would you say as far as the, the stiffness that you guys are offering this, would this be more geared for your kind of intermediate to advance or what kind of skater yeah. is going to be I, ideal for this boot? It's definitely kind of built for the intermediate to advance skater. Um, tried to, uh, to give them uh, the performance feel first, and then as we get the, we'll be looking to add lines for mm -hmm. the more beginner skater subsequently as we get uh, more and more into everybody accepting the technology on the skate itself. But it's definitely designed for your, you know, like tournament level player or your, your men's league player and, 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 uh, and maybe club league type player. Definitely, and I mean, talking about the technology, let's go on to the most noticeable feature that I'm sure everyone's kind of wanting to know about. Um, why don't you give us kind of the story behind that uh, monster in the back? <laughs> well, with the uh, Vanquish frame, what we're looking to do is uh, try to advance the technology within the sport to give that player that extra 5% edge or whatnot that they need. Mm -hmm. um, and rarely, rarely can do that. You know, coming from the speed and inline race world, you know, they started off with five 80 millimeter wheels. Now kids are killing world records all the way up to 100 and 310 millimeter wheels. The science behind this: wheels are bigger, wheels are just faster. That's just how it's always been that way. It's science and um, you can't really argue that. So what we said is, okay, um, all these other companies, whether it's 80, 76, all 80s have been slowly, incrementally increasing the size, but we felt like, you know, offering a 1% advantage or a 2% advantage really wasn't enough for the skater to feel the difference. So we decided, after all the testing, that the 100 millimeter C-note on the back with the 376s for a, you know, average size adult, um, size like six and, a half, six and a half skate and up, that that was ideal contact patch and ideal wheel size for them to generate top end speed. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of the most noticeable um, advances as far as wheels go. And I mean, you do still have those smaller wheels in the front. So I mean, you're still gonna have some of that sharp turning and all that good stuff as well. Keeps you, keeps you um, uh, without moving you too high off the ground. You know, the, the, you're gonna get some sharp turning and stuff with the big wheel as well, just because of the fact that you can compress it and get such a big contact patch that you're not used to. You know, um, so you're able to help make up enable you to slow yourself down if you need to for that top end speed uh, that you're already at. But also by having the 376s, we don't extend the con the le overall length too far to where it feels like, you know, you're you're cornering like a boat, you know? Yeah. Or, and it keeps you low enough to the ground where you can make those hard angle turns like you were talking about. Yeah, I mean, I think that's definitely a good point as well to note that that front wheel isn't really sticking out as far. And if you're looking, you know, down on the top of the skate or, you know, if we can get that on camera, just looking down on the skate, that that front wheel really isn't sticking out too far on the skate. So you're still having, yeah. you know, a similar. Yeah, we've done a few things there. We um, have probably the narrowest gap between wheels that you'll ever find in the skate. It's a one millimeter gap. Um, doesn't, you know, so we have to be very precise in the frame to help make it so you don't have to adjust too much. Uh, one of the other things um, that we did was, you know, it's a, a myth to kind of um, eliminate is that, oh, you're angled more. Well, well the angle of your, uh, where your foot is, is determined by the slope of the boot and by the height differentials and angles of the back and front mounting plates, mm -hmm. not by your wheel uh, base. So what we've done is we've adjusted the front mounting plate in correlation with the back mounting plate to keep you at what we feel is the ideal angle for maximum stride. 
Now, would you say the height above the rink is going to be about the same on this skate versus some more traditional skates? Um, it, about eight millimeters is the difference. You, I mean, you won't even really rec feel it, recognize it. I mean, uh, you know, to anybody uh, who can really feel eight millimeters difference is the most sensitive person I've ever uh, seen yeah, with. Yeah, so. it's pretty small <laughs> difference right there. Yeah. All right, well, uh, this has just been a kind of quick overview of the Revision Vanquish skate. Uh, once again, this is Nabil with Revision, and my name's Tyson, and this is at Inline Warehouse.